It's not offensive. It's funny. Like nooses taking embarrassment in the closet of my ancestors. As long as we build those nooses out of ignorance and claim the innocence, then we can all be the jesters of a history that has always been a joke. So let's laugh it up in blackface, wearing yarmulkes and big noses with numbers replacing our names and stars on our clothing. Chuckle as we play cowboys and Indians, paint our clubhouses concentration camp red and call ourselves immigrants. Wetbacks, <laughs> N-words, <laughs> problems. Because we are a country built on humor. Did you not see the strange fruit hanging from that tree? Wasn't it funny to watch a man die on hand? Didn't you laugh when Tyler Clemency's sex tape debuted across your computer screen? And even harder when his obituary appeared in your newspaper? Yes, we are the laughter that gets stuck in lungs, causing them to collapse. We are the gas of breath that sneak into veins and stop hearts. It's funny how laughter tastes like overdoses on pain pills. How it smells like pools of empty veins. How it sounds like guns cocking in mouths. How it looks like dead bodies stacked up, not worthy of graves. It's what, it's what makes us different. Our laughter, the way we use it to strip a soul of its worth. The way it sneaks into egos and silently births desires to fade into its echoes. To be forgotten when it ends. You see, laughter has always been hatred's best friend. As they skip to the loo hand in hand, whistling tunes that sound like the melody of crackling wood crosses. So forgive me. If your caricatures of black people as monkeys don't tickle my funny bones. If I don't chuckle at your stories of conquering lesbians with your penis. So if your planking on balconies doesn't double me over in laughter. You see my sense of humor has always been a bit dry. My smile a bit strained. My laughter laced with paranoia. Wondering how many highs it takes to get to the center of pain. How do you build your laugh tolerance to take things at face value? How do you convince a poet that words just are? Or people that actions are meaningless? How do you rip apart things that should be seamless, like laughter and emotion in order to understand the joke? Learn to separate the fire from the smoke in order to understand the fuel. Never mind my blackened lungs and blistering hands from pulling myself apart in order to understand that maybe we should take those nooses and untwine the rope. Stay in the mirror until we find ourselves in the jokes, and we should be able to play our laughter in reverse and recognize the muffled cries in our very pitch. Taste the death on our tongues before it rolls off our lips, with the pain in our hands before we unclench our fists. Or we can just keep laughing through gnashed teeth and dead eyes, hiding beneath our bandwagons and lies, because as long as somebody can lie, it's not offensive, it's funny, right?